Hi, this is Space Toad, and today I would like to explain a couple of things in more details about the new Buildcraft 3.0.0 release. I think I didn't did a great job on the previous video. Uh, I was going a little bit fast, and there have been a lot of people complaining already about the complexity of things. While it's it's actually quite simple, so. I would like to start a new series of video explaining things one after the other, and this is going to be just a first short one, Buildcraft uh, 3.0.0, Gates and Circuitries 101. Let's get started. So uh, the basic idea of the whole Buildcraft circuitry is that you have to apply gates on pipes, and I won't go into the details on how to craft them. Today I'm going to assume that you guys are using too many items or if you want to have uh, early information on this you can watch the previous video. Anyway, so I'm going to cheat here and use too many items. I'm going to get uh, a few objects. Um, just this item which is called gate, we're going to forget about the rest. I'm going to get a couple of pipes. Um, just for the examples that I'm going to show later on. Uh, let's get some, oh, a bit enough gates, wrench, that can always be useful. Uh, some fuel, maybe. And I guess it's going to be okay to start with, and we probably need some more stuff. Oh, redstone. I need redstone, otherwise I won't be able to show a lot of things. I need this and maybe a lever. Um, will provide interesting things to experiment. Alright, so gate 101. Uh, the first thing is that I need a gate circuit. So let's place gates just the usual way. And now if I want to um, use these new gates I need uh, this thing to apply on a pipe here. So that's it. I just got a pipe item, got a gate, place the pipe, place the gate on the pipe, and that's it. Now, if I right click in this, I can see that. Uh, let's get rid of too many items for now. I can see that I've got this uh, interface that says gate, and what it will do here is it will generate messages based on events. Uh, you can see that there are two little boxes here, the left box and the right box. The left box is the event or trigger that the gate is going to react to. If I click on it, I'm going to browse through the various events that are available on this gate. So as you can see here, I've got one first event which is called the pipe is empty, a second event which is called uh, items are traversing and then this default one means nothing happens. And as you can see there's this medium icon here which gets red when the trigger is active. So here this is red because the pipe is empty and indeed there is nothing in the pipe. If I use um, Obsidian pipe uh, to show something. Where is over there? And if I send object here, eh. well, that kind of killed the demonstration. Let's start again. Maybe some blocks. Ah. Uh, Hmm, gold, I like gold. So I'm sending gold, then looking at the gates, and when gold passes through, this pipe empty is deactivated here. And now the pipe is empty again, and it's activated again. Uh, what I can do now is to hook an action to this trigger and the actions is the thing that is located on the right hand side. So if I click here, I can see that there is one action that I can send 
to react to the event, which is here sender redstone signal. So let's summarize here. What I'm saying is that if the pipe is empty, I send a redstone signal. Indeed, the pipe is empty here, and if I wire redstone next to this gate, you can see that this is activated. If I place object, when object go true, the redstone signal is deactivated. Uh, it works the exact same way. If I select items are traversing, no item is traversing here, so the uh, signal is deactivated, but if I send items, as soon as items are traversing, the signal is activated. Okay? So, now, the idea behind this gate is that they offer different triggers depending on the surroundings. Um, as of this moment, this gate is on a transport pipe. So, the only two events that uh, can be triggered and can be detected is there are items or there is no item uh, traversing through the pipe. If I do something else, uh, if I take this lever, for example, and if I place it here next to this detector, all of a the sudden there is a new event that can happen here, which is redstone can be activated. And indeed, if I click on the pipe and I brought through the various potential events, I've got this new thing here, which is the redstone signal is on, which means that there is one item around the pipe which has a redstone signal that is on. And if I click again on it, that means the redstone signal is off. And you can see here it gets a little bit crazy because there are two inputs of our redstone signals. Right? I should remove this thing. Anyway, um, that's um, that's for a redstone signal, but there are other kind of events that can be detected by the gates. Uh, one concerns everything that is related to liquid tanks. So if I place a tank next to the gate, maybe I want to remove this thing. So now the gate, let's wire this again, the gate can detect, uh, it still can detect things from the pipe, it can detect if the tank is empty, which is the case here, it can detect if there is liquid in the tank, uh, that's false right now, but if I add some stuff here, that should get true, and of course I need an action if I want to see the redstone signal, uh, I can detect if there is space for any liquid in the gate, which is the case here as well. And it can detect if the tank is full, uh, which is false. But if I fill it up with my magic bucket, which by the way is a, is a magic bucket that I use for development. It's not a part of Buildcraft and you won't have access to it. It's why it's, it's never empty. But anyway, I've used my magic bucket, I filled this tank, and now uh, you can see that uh, the signal tank is full is true, so it sends the redstone signal. Uh, the there is liquid in tank signal is activated as well, since obviously there is liquid. Uh, it's even more than that. It's, it's full of liquid. So that's um, second kind of event. Any object that has what we call an inventory, uh, namely a chest, will uh, trigger certain things as well. So let's move on to where are the chests here. So get out. Get if I have a chest, um, let's remove the old events. If I have a chest, I can detect what's in there uh, if it is empty which is the case right now. Uh, if I click again, I'm going to detect if there are items in the inventory, any kind of items. Uh, so if I add something here, that triggers the detector. And clicking again, I can uh, trigger if there is some space in the inventory or if the inventory is full. That's for chests. Now, you can see there's a little 
glitch in that version, this connection should be removed. Fix that in the next version of Buildcraft. Anyway, uh, let's carry on with the other things. If I add an engine, uh, let's add a combustion engine. Probably the most interesting one. If I place it here, now I can detect new things. I can detect, okay, I'm still on the pipe. I can detect if the engine is blue, green, yellow, or red, which will allow me to detect if an engine is about to blow up and then do various things to avoid it. Now, what's interesting is that engines, they have containers, and in particular, um, Iron engines, they have tanks. So you will see if I carry on selecting the options that I have the triggers for the tanks for the engines as well, and that uh, describes the objects that are in the engines. Now, what's important to understand is that this means that there is a signal somewhere around saying the tank is full. So right now there is no full tank around, but uh, let's take a regular tank of liquid here, and if I fill it up, and maybe I want to sleep to get some light. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Alright, so now if I fill this up, uh, like so, here we go, as you can see this gets activated, so there is a tank that is full next to this detector, it does not make the difference between the engine and the, uh, the tank full of, uh, full of fuel. So that's something important to take into account, that's a limitation of the current design of the case. Let's carry on. Uh, as you know, there are various machines um, available in Buildcraft, and these machines offer a dedicated trigger that says if they are on or off. Uh, that would be the case for the builder, um, the filler, the quarry, etc., etc. So let's say if I place a quarry here and I click on the gate again, let's remove this, uh, here I can see that the machine is on, which means the quarry has something to do. That does not mean that there is energy flowing to the quarry, that means that the quarry has uh, additional blocks to, get, to dig, and I can detect if the machine is off as well. Okay, so this is for uh, the triggers of uh, blocks around uh, this gate. Now we saw that the gate is able to detect if items are flowing through a transport pipe. There are special signals, special triggers for uh, the other kind of pipes. This is a, a conductive pipe and if I add a gate on it, uh, you can see that I can still detect if the pipe is empty, but now I can detect if there is power traversing through the pipe. And similarly, uh, on a waterproof pipe, if I add a gate on it, I'm going to be able to detect if there is liquid traversing through the pipe. So. That's it for this tutorial which explains the bas basic capabilities of the gates. Now there is a lot more to know about them that is upgrades to these gates. They can do um, much more complex analysis. They can send other kind of signal. Uh, right now it's only redstone signal. But uh, this first tutorial is intended to stay very simple. So. For now, I'm going to say thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon in the second tutorial of Buildcraft 3.0.0 Gates. Bye-bye.